My plan to wait out the horde has failed. I am left with one recourse, to jump. This will likely break my leg, but with black spike and the time bought with my jump, I may be able to splint it and run away. As I write now, I tie wood to my leg so I can splint it easier when I hit the ground. My every move has been painstakingly planned. I'll tie everything I own or would need to me. I'll draw as many of them as I can away by throwing things from the top floor. The Grella could be useful here. I will then take a single hit of Black Spike, my second hit of it ever. I'll wait for the perfect moment, when the drug overtakes me as heavy as possible, while also being as far away from the Horde as I can be. And then I will leap, using the fog of my mind to avoid being knocked unconscious from the shock of my leg breaking. I will be too high to feel the pain of the impact. Hopefully. I've broken my leg once before in a situation similar to this. Without the massing dead, of course. It was staggeringly painful, and having already absorbed one spike of black spike, I do not know if it'll be enough to stave off the fainting. If I feel it's starting to overtake me, I will puncture myself with two more. Considering the last time I took any, I broke the spine in half and took it in two sessions, and that nearly knocked me out. And This time I'm taking one with intent to take more, I... Worry for myself. Goddess be with me. But if you don't find another letter after this, I suppose you'll know what's happened. I see now. The world laid bare. Like the nerve in a mouth with the teeth pulled out. Once we lived and slept within the dream of our goddess. The sickness infected her as it did us and she began to drive her head against the firmament. The other gods investigated, and one by one they too became infected, and began to bash their skulls against the world. Eventually their heads began to break open, and their brains and blood commingled in a slurry of vomitous divine organs. And we still lived in the goddess's dream. Other gods, either newer or older, either is equally awful then investigated. They are called gods, but that is only because they were powerful and great. They are difficult to understand even by the normal gods, much less humans. They began to squash and mold the dry clay that was once the mingled brain matter of the four pillars of the world itself. Twisting, warping, cutting the body to wet in the media, pulling out the bones to strengthen it. This is the firmament. And they twisted the brains and twisted the dream. It's all undone. There cannot be a turning back. Things have been made ruin. This is a door open that cannot be closed. The horses have already run away. They failed us. The gods did. The kings did. The dead did. What I have said is not true. But the truth is impossible to know. Suffice it to say, this is the only way a mortal could understand the betrayal the world has wrought upon us. Like telling a child their grandfather has not gone to hell. I do not know that anyone could see as I have, but I cannot say I recommend it. The truth is dark and miserable. I will see you again when Asher next takes too much black spike.